first word is definitely passionate uh, second i'd say hard working and uh, smart intelligent the first memory that i have is actually of my brother uh, play, doing taekwondo and i was very young to to participate in the classes so uh, i used to shadow his move whatever he was doing inside i used to shadow the move standing outside it's always a sporting memory that i have in mind Uh, I remember having this conversation with one of my sports teachers, Mr. Raman, um, and he said a very simple thing, which kind of just changed my uh, life. Uh, because he said, "Do you want to be average or good at multiple sports, or do you want to excel in one sport?" And that was the time where it was very, very clear. Because I am uh, very competitive. I want to win everything, uh, whatever I do. Growing up, uh, it was a, a difficult journey to take on as uh, as as a woman who was interested to play sports and play football, um, and I basically had to find my own path, find my own uh, way to achieve my dream or uh, you know live my dreams. Um, and of course, uh, there were obviously fr pressures from the society. Of my parents were also a little apprehensive initially when I started, um, and I wanted to take up football. Uh, I was always passionate about uh, doing something in. developing sports in india i i had a clear idea that even if it's on a small scale even if i can contribute uh, in the you know in in the progress or in the journey of one girl i'd be happy um, and that was the intention that is still the intention that uh, for every girl who is uh, passionate about football i through my knowledge and my experience as much as i can guide them and help them um, that was the only purpose of uh, she kicks as a girl you you need to have that confidence and self belief and i think sports and football has given that to me and i know this can the sport can do that to every girl who plays um and that's the idea for she kicks to get more girls to play and uh, really build that personality and of course help them uh, excel she kicks i registered my foundation last year and i realized over the couple of years that uh, the girls who are passionate about and uh, about football and who are talented come from underprivileged background or are not really supported by their parents financially um Uh, so i wanted to take that financial aspect away from from the, the a factor that was contributing in girls not playing uh, that was the reason why i registered my foundation so that uh, we can train these girls free of cost provide them the right like i said the right environment the right infrastructure um, and uh, you know all all the things that are important snc nutrition uh, we're also giving them travel expenses so that there is minimum to no burden financial burden on them um, and that is why why we uh, wanted to run a crowdfunding uh, pr platform and program where uh, we could get the funds to uh, keep running this program because it's a very unique concept we are training free of cost throughout the year uh, and like i said there are different aspects that uh, athletes need uh, which we're trying to provide through this uh, program so the link is live and uh, it's on mila platform and i hope uh, more and more people can join and contribute and uh, help us run this program uh, in the long run as well role model that say hope solo was my role model as a goalkeeper i've always looked up to her uh, noyer has influenced my uh, goalkeeper goalkeeping style a lot i love to play as a sweeper keeper and have that confidence um and rafael nadal is an athlete who i admire uh, i think we have a lot of things in common both of us have suffered a lot of injuries <laughs> throughout our career but one thing that i think that really draws me to him is his mental capacity and mental ability to come back from injury every single time at the top um is something that i ta i take a lot of inspiration from and i hope i can do that uh, this time as well absolutely please do get involved in sports it's it's something uh, you know you will never 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 ever regret the things that you learn the life skills that you learn from sports which no university no colleges no classes can ever teach you uh, you build some bonds some friendships uh, on the field which uh, which lasts uh, you know life long um, it's really really special and of course uh, it's a great way to be fit uh, to be active and uh, and you know just follow your passion because once you play 
football i'm just talking about football but sports in general um you you just it's very hard to stop then uh, because you get so much of joy and so much of love that's what has kept me in the game for so long for over 15 years now i've been representing the country so um i would only say that uh, i i would love to see more and more girls play sports whatever sport it is at whatever level but just get involved and uh, stay active it's 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 good for your health and uh, most mental and physical health so uh, and of course if you are uh, if you're keen enough you can also there's no limit to what you can achieve if you're really passionate about something